Hello, this is Craig, and this is just a little progress report on the JavaScript toy I'm building to learn advanced JavaScript. Uh, I have to do that for my job. I've built a tutorial level, so you can interact with these signs and learn how to play. More importantly, the world now expands as you explore it. In the long run, I'll probably limit this to a specific size and populate it with random chunks ahead of time, since JavaScript does uh, pretty poorly at the uh, at the memory management side of things. Um, and I don't want to implement any kind of chunking or anything. I want this to be some kind of fortress game, so the amount of space you have should hopefully be quite limited. I've radically increased the amount of crafting you can do. I'm going to move this window so I can show you better. Each of these plants has a specific thing they produce. This one produces scraps of metal. And if I take it over here, I can produce a metal disc. Uh, the trees, if you whip them out of the ground, produce wood, and I can combine that. We can create a planting bench with that. All of this stuff can be built from the ground up. These plants glow in the dark, and they produce glass when you pick them. These plants are uh, hazards. Most of the hazards in the game will be mechanical, but it's good to have a hazard ready now so that I can test the hazard code. When you pick it, you get thread, and that turns into cloth. Um, if I have the axe from up here, you notice there's some irritating desync on the trees. Uh, uh, it's standard bugs for such an early prototype. If I take the axe to the tree, I don't get wood. I get uh, cuttings, and I can go ahead and plant the cuttings. And tomorrow, there will be four trees there. So there's quite a bit of gardening you can do as well. I'm going to show you nighttime. While it's not significantly different, um, it's different enough. Uh, it, the roguelike looks a lot better when you demonstrate it with a little bit of night time in it. Otherwise, it uh, it seems pretty pretty dull. So I'm going to go ahead and sleep until after the monsters have come. So here are the monsters, and there's a monster in my bedroom. He seems to be stuck in the door. I don't think he understands what a sign is. I'll have to try and figure out that. Um, I just killed him. So as you can see, the light code is pretty much the same. But now there are some plants that glow in the dark. And yes, the plants glow in the dark well enough that you can actually kill enemies just by having those plants around. But it's not nearly as good as an actual torch. Um, I've also added some more animation to these monsters. You can see with their little panning eye, that means they're ready to attack. When their eye is down, it means they're not ready. They're not going to do anything. Um, basically, monsters have... Uh, if someone is injured, they have every other round is a stunned round, and so that bottom monster is injured, so now he's stunned. Uh, the monsters are smart enough that if I tried to run away by going inside, they would simply open the door and follow me. Anyhow, that's the sort of progress I've made in the past couple of days. Uh, one of them just died, and the other one got injured. Eh. Just thought I'd show it off.